Welcome back to Motorsport Manager, folks. We are heading in to the last race of the season at the Black Sea. And we're going to go for sixth or above. And part fitting, I think everything is fit, right? Yeah. Yeah, everything is fitted. And our car, we are we're done with performance so now it's all on the reliability which doesn't really matter but it's fine it's fine it's the last race and in our standings we have gomez who is sixth at the moment only two points after fifth five points after fourth and third uh, we have Faith, who is currently 10th, but she's not going to get any more points because she is not driving anymore. She's not part of the team anymore because we got Falco Engelhardt last time, which is really nice. He is a fantastic driver. Then we, in the team standings, we're coming 5th. We were expecting to come 10th, so 5th is pretty darn good. And we're only 3 points off 4th. So, yeah yeah all right let's race i'll do the practice on my own as usual and then i'll be right back right practice is done and falco did quite well he came 11th uh, we opted to go for softs uh, on both our cars uh andre gomez never got to set a time so it is what it is, but we got some pretty decent setups, so let's have a look. It did rain most of the of practice, but I decided to go with the softs in the hopes that we, uh, we get to race on those, uh, which we do not, at least not from the beginning. Okay, well, that's a shame. We're going to do... Uh, let's do race trim and pit stop guru then. And here, you can only do those two. So yeah. Alright. Car setup, we're on Inter, so Falco got excellent, excellent, excellent. And Andre Gomez got excellent, great, great. Which is fine. Uh, so, tire choice is inters, that's fine. Fuel options. We got six laps of fuel. He's starting 15th. Uh, Falco is starting first. So, Falco is going to get uh, one less lap of fuel. And he'll go fasty fast. Alright, attack. More attack. Attack. Double take. Let's race. Alright. We want to follow Falco, don't we? See how he gets off the line. Not well. That was a poor start from him, unfortunately. Poor start from Gomez as well, it seems. He dropped the place too. Uh, let's go up to two times speed. So it actually looks like they're racing and not just puttering around in a little Fiat or something. Okay. Gomez dropped some more. Let's drop him down to high and push. And Engelhardt is going to keep attacking and overtaking. So it's a 15 lap race. And Gomez dropped down to 20th. Wonderful. Uh, it looks like it's going to keep raining for a while. Engelhardt is dropping back another place, unfortunately. Go, 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 guys. All right. So we're going to hope for, a, for an undercut with Engelhardt here. So it's stopping raining, which kind of sucks. Might have to do two pit stops with him. Um, you know what? 
let's. We want to pit you now and get a bit more on. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, tool options. Um, let's fill you up. Yeah. Our part condition should be fine. Pit strategy. We'll go with a fast pit. Okay. All right. No mistakes. Good. All right. Off we go. So he has a lot of clear track now. And he is attacking and overtaking. He has fresh tires, so he should be going faster than anyone else, really. Or maybe not. But he will get a good long stint on good inters. Which is nice. Everyone else is switching to inters as well. But he comes in out into traffic here, which sucks. Uh, you are going to pit now for another set of inters and fill you up and do fast pit stop. Okay. Let's go look at Engelhart here. And I think we can go attack overtake with you as well. Let's just go high overtake. And you go high overtake as well. Just to take a little bit care of the engine. Oh, it's going to rain again. So I guess we're staying on inters. Engelhart is up to sixth now. wonder if it's gonna go way up into being soaked. He has two laps of fuel remaining. Tire temperatures are a little bit high, but that's I'm okay with that. It looks like it's gonna rain hard. Might actually need to switch to wets. Uh, not yet. Right, so he can just finish this. Uh, let's pit you. Or enters. I can't see if it's gonna go all the way up to wet, so we'll fill you up. And to go with the fast pit stop again. And I think what we'll do is we'll conserve uh, on the fuel afterwards, so that we don't have to pit again. I don't think it's going to go all the way up to wets. I don't think it's going to go all the way up to wets. His pit stop timing was impeccable though. Let's put you down to low and push. All right, he's in 20th. He's going to go all the way up to it. God damn it. Okay. Can't see. Is it going to get even wetter than what it says there? Yeah, it is. But it's dropping off. Engelhart is in 19th. Engelhart is just going to putter around. Uh, no more pits for him. Uh, you're going to pit now, though. For... Wets. Uh, you're going to go to the end. And we'll go with a fast pit. Okay. Uh, 
bad. One mistake. Damn. Alright, Engelhardt is in 14th. Gomez is in 17th. Uh, let's put you on medium push. Okay. Engelhardt is dropping places, but that's to be expected. Because he is just puttering around. He should be able to make it to the end. Uh, go. I'm going to ignore that Engelhart. So Gomez is on the right tires now. Engelhart is definitely not. But... If we don't have to pit him anymore, which we don't, then he might pick up some places. We do have excess fuel, so let's go on high. Actually, you have a lot of fuel. A lot of excess fuel, Gomez. Let's go you put you on overtake and attack. Gomez is up to 10th. Engelhart is in 13th. So yeah, he won some places by going slow. And not having to pit. And... Now we come here. Up to 8th with Gomez. There won't be any more pitting in front of him though. Unfortunately. So 8th and 12th or something will probably be our result. Um, with that, if that result holds, we'll stay in fifth for the championship. Gomez will go up to fifth as well. Okay. Uh, okay, Gomez feels like he's lost some speed, but we're just going to keep going. Keep attacking Gomez. He's on low fuel, but he should just be able to make it. We can attack on the tires. Ninth and thirteenth. Fourteenth. Dang it. All right, so we didn't hit our sponsor target. We didn't hit our sponsor target. That sucks. We just had enough fuel. 0 0.03 left. 0 0.11. That was pretty well timed. Jönstadtje won, of course. Alright. So... Yeah, a bit of a letdown in the last race of the season. But all in all, I, I think we had a very good season. I think we had a very good season. I probably should have put Engelhart on wets as well, but no. hindsight is always twenty twenty, right? And there's no rule breaks from our side anyway. I was on Sabato though, but that doesn't help us. And Maya. Uh, had something like demoted six places. Wow, he was demoted two places. So yeah, ninth and sixteenth. Mm. I'm not super happy about that. Uh, Gomez finished sixth in the drivers' championship. Faith fell down to thirteenth, and Engelhart, of course, came twenty-first because you only got one race. Fifth for the drive for the team championship, the constructors uh, constructors championship though. So that was very nice. That was very nice. I'm very pleased with that. So yeah, so that was the last race of the season, and we are going to take a little break from Motorsport Manager. We're not going to end the series of Motorsport Manager, but it didn't get as big a following as I was hoping it would. It is an old game, so it's not super surprising but 
And what we're going to do is, whenever we're waiting for a kind of waiting for a new game to come out, uh, when uh, or when a, when a series ends, we'll do a season of, of Motorsport Manager so that we keep progressing and uh, get up into the higher uh, uh, championships. We lost a lot of money there, 1.2 million. We basically have no money left, but that's okay. All right. Uh, that's the European Racing Series, Jean-Francois Beauchamp, uh, one with Garuda Racing. And Eastwood Motorsport uh, won the Constructors Championship with uh, Sergio Abeloa and uh, Eda Jönstad here, coming second and fourth, respectively, in the, in the Drivers' Championship. Good season for them which means they get promoted and someone else will fall down. Now, our drivers is really good. We're first, we have the best drivers, which is nice. We have a decent headquarters at sixth place. We have decent staff, sixth as well, fifth in sponsors, uh, pit crew sucks, we're ninth, and the car sucks, we're 10th. But it is what it is. Uh, so, accept the interview. Simple question. Which one of your drivers is better? Definitely Falco Engelhardt, which also gives him a morale boost, which is nice. Pit crew. We had a total of four pit stops, one mistake, uh, and after action report with Abdullah Flekna. That's a strangely mixed name. <laughs> hmm. uh, Okay, hard, hard fought win for Jönstad here. Let's take a look at our uh, pit crew here. We'll just remove the fatigued ones. Uh, Abdullah is actually one of our better guys. Before the next race, we need to check if um, if we need to want to renew some contracts or fire some people or something like that. We'll check that next time. We do have new sponsors coming in uh, before the first race of the next season. We have three sponsor slots open, so that will give us some extra cash, which is really nice. And let's continue on. And car repairs are finished. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. Uh, prize money. Prize money. We like prize money. Uh, I'm happy to present you with your prize money for the 2016 season. Do try not to spend it all at once, Ernie. 12.8 million. Not bad. Not bad. Manager of the season. Woo! After charting up the votes, the manager of the season is Martin Nilsson. Face first into the wall. Yeah! I feel like we earned that. Coming fifth when we were expected to come tenth. Driver of the season, Jean-Pierre Girard. None of our drivers, unfortunately, but that's okay. 2017 rules now active in the European Racing Series, which means that the front wings can be developed and there's only points for the top 10. Hmm. Okay. Promotions. So Eastwood Motorsport got promoted to the Asia Pacific Super Cup and Luca Telly Racing is dropping down. So they are going to be the ones to beat, I think. All right. Preseason start. Saving. Uh, so, Shoba. Snapped up by Garuda. Is Falco okay? Uh, feeling blue. Okay, morale minus 30 for 10 weeks. Ah. Well, it's fine. Uh, that's fine too. Get the car design unlocked. Um, yeah, so we will be doing that, but we'll be doing that in the next episode. Let's have a look at our sponsors. Uh, Nippon. 400,000 per race if we finish 10th or above for four races. That's not half bad. But 13th or above with a 900,000 upfront payment and a bonus of 
200,000. So this is obviously 400,000 per race. This is 300,000 per race if we finish 13th, but it's 900,000 guaranteed up front. This is, let's see, that's 300,000 per race in total. I think we'll go with the 13th place. Yeah. Let's do that. And this sponsor offer, we only have one, so we'll wait with that. Yeah. Uh, oh, we need to hire drivers as well because Andre Gomez's contract is running out. Um, let's see, team. Scott Driver, Scott Driver, Scott Driver, Scott Driver, Scott Driver, Scott Driver. Luigi Machetta, we're scouting right now. Who's that? Mm. He is at Octane Racing. Hmm. Oh, you complete Bruno Cabral, Claudia Dreyfus, and Valerie Yao. We are scouting right now. They are hopefully down here. Claudia is almost done. Bruno Cabral, he's at Silver Racing, so let's just cancel his scouting. Uh, Claudia Dreyfus is at Octane Racing. But she's done in one day, so we'll leave her in there. Uh, Valerie Yao is at Garuda Racing, so we'll drop her from the scouting. And Tenvia Hyach is unemployed, but he also definitely sucks. Uh, so we'll drop him. Jean-Francois Beauchamp is unemployed. He's 41. And he definitely sucks too. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's not scout you. Jean-Pierre Girard is at Firebird, so we'll drop you. Christian West is at Firebird. I want to scout the unemployed ones. Shin Ki is at Eastwood Motorsport. Let's drop you. Sergio Abeloa. Is it Eastwood Motorsport? Ida Jönstadt here is at Eastwood Motorsport. Nick Chu is at Dragon Racing. You know what? Just cancel all of these. Uh, scouting. And we'll scout. These guys, we want the youngsters first. Okay. Okay. Now, we will get uh, next year's car. We'll get seven million. For next year's car so i think we can start building in some more on our headquarters um and i think i want to build i'd love the forecasting center but i think i'll upgrade the design center Yeah, so we have 6 million now. We get 7 million for the car. That takes us up to 13. And then there's our prediction for next year, which will be 5th or above or something like that, which will give us some decent money as well. So we, we should have like 25 million or something like that uh, when we get to that. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have... Oh, crap. Uh, can I cancel upgrading? Uh, 
No, I can't. Damn it. Because we need to design the chassis now, and I need that money. Oh well. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, we are going to call the episode here, and when we come back uh, in between uh, playing some other games, we will uh, continue on into Season 2 of uh, our European Racing Series adventure, and hopefully soon, probably not this season, but maybe the third season, we'll be able to get promoted to uh, the Asia Pacific, uh, which would be nice. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.